this is Jim at Slacker One and what we have here today is a positive clamper circuit with DC bias and just to go over the operation quickly we have a 5 volt peak to peak at 60 Hertz during the positive portion of the signal D1 will not conduct so C1 will not charge but during the negative portion of the signal D1 will start to conduct at zero volts since our DC bias is at a positive 0.7 volts we have 0.7 volts dropped across our D1 which gives us 4.3 volts at C1 but with the DC bias of a positive 0.7 volts DC our second source it is adding to our 4.3 volts giving us the 5 volt level the signal will be riding on I've been asked if the value of C1 makes a difference and yes it does but in conjunction with load R1 C1 and R1 are an RC circuit and must have a time constant about 10 times or better than the input frequency period and that being 60 Hertz in this case and about 16 milliseconds in order to provide good operation uh, this kind this this time constant will provide a slow enough discharge rate that will be able to maintain the 5 volt DC level and to demonstrate I'll change R1 to 1 ohm click simulate run here we've lost the DC level completely uh, because C1 is discharging too fast and the signal has been attenuated a lot also this is because C1 and R1 is also high pass filter dropping R1 to 1 ohm I've set the cutoff frequency to about 1.5 kilohertz way above our 60 Hertz so it's attenuated to almost nothing but if I change R1 back to 1670 ohms click simulate run I've set the cutoff frequency at around 1 Hertz using the formula for high pass filter cutoff which is 1 divided by 2 pi resistance times capacitance since this circuit is running at 60 Hertz way above our 1 Hertz cutoff we get little if any attenuation at all I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you next time